for any, let's consider uh, equal weighted portfolios, you know, the same amount invested in each security. Um, uh, you know, portfolio theory doesn't require that, but we will uh, uh, get a better intuitive feeling for what uh, covariance means if we, uh, 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 if we consider this case. In the case where you have equal weighted uh, portfolios, then as the number of securities increases, the portfolio variance approaches the average covariance. Uh, so in particular, uh, if securities are uncorrelated, so their correlation coefficient is zero, therefore all the covariances are zero, in that case, in the uncorrelated case, then the portfolio variance approaches zero. On the other hand, uh, suppose all sec securities have the same variance, V sub S for variance of securities. And suppose each pair of securities, or the correlation of each thing with each other thing, so each security with each other security, has correlation coefficient uh, rho. Uh, then uh, the variance of the portfolio, you have to go back to uh, uh, the formula for covariance. Uh, covariance is... Uh, Correlation times the variance of the one, uh, the standard deviation of one security times the standard deviation of the next. Standard deviation times standard deviation is, var uh, is standard deviation square, which is variance. So uh, the variance of the portfolio approaches the correlation coefficient times the security, the security variance. Portfolio variance approaches correlation times security variance. But what we're really interested, recall, is standard deviation. And the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So the standard deviation of the portfolio approaches uh, the square root of the correlation coefficient times the, uh, the standard deviation of the security. In other words, uh, for example, if the correlation coefficient is 0.25, which is not, not unusual for correlations among securities, then the standard deviation of the portfolio divided by the standard deviation of the security is 0.5. So think about that. Uh, this says that if uh, every security had a, uh, a correlation of 0.25 with every other security, then the uh, standard deviation of the portfolio would be 50% as great as if you put all your money in one stock. So and if the correlation was uh, 0.1, which is rather low, you know, a reasonably low correlation, then it would still be, oh, the, the correlation of the portfolio, I'm sorry, the standard deviation of the portfolio would still be 31, 32% as great as if you put all your money in one stock. So uh, diversification reduces standard deviation, but uh, in the face of correlated risks, uh, it, uh, uh, its efficacy is limited. And that's even with an unlimited amount of diversification. So let's talk about uh, what theorists knew before 1952. Uh, and we'll start with John Burr Williams' Theory of Investment Value, which is still available on Amazon.com uh, and uh, it delivers overnight, I think. It ships overnight. Uh, my book uh, ships overnight too, but uh, that's okay. But, but John, uh, most of the ideas that appeared in my 1952 article uh, popped up uh, and popped into my head one day in 1950 sometime. I don't know which day in 1950. All I know it was an afternoon uh, because that was my, my, my habits. Uh, and uh, it popped in my head when I was reading John Burr Williams' Theory of Investment Value at the Business School Library in the University of Chicago. Uh, Williams asserted that the value of stock should be the present value of its future dividends. Uh, I thought, you know, uh, what went through my head was, well, the future is uncertain. It must mean uh, expected present, uh, the expected value of, uh, of present, you know, discounted dividends. Uh, if one is only interested in expected values of securities, then one must be only interested in the expected value of the portfolio. One maximizes the expected value uh, of anything of, of the portfolio by putting all one's uh, resources into a sec single security. 
Uh, now that I knew wasn't uh, didn't make any sense because security and uh, uh, portfolios were uh, diversified. Uh, if you looked at Wiesenberger investment companies and their portfolios, you'd see that people pay to have diversified portfolios. And uh, besides, everybody knows you're not supposed to put all your eggs in one basket. Later in the book, uh, Williams addresses the uh, the issue of uh, uncertainty. Uh, he said, uh, whenever the value <coughs> of a security is uncertain and has to be expressed in terms of probability, the correct value to choose is the mean value, the average value. This was uh, mentioned on the prior chart. Uh, the customary way to find a value of a risky security has always been to add a premium for risk to the pure interest rate and then use the, the sum of the interest rate uh, uh, for discounting future receipts. Uh, in the case of the bond that was being discussed, uh, which at 40 would yield 12% to maturity, well, the premium for risk is 8% when the pure interest rate is, in fact, 4%. Strictly speaking, however, there is no risk in buying the bond in question if its price is right. Given adequate diversification, gains on such purchases will offset losses and return at the pure interest rate will be obtained. Thus, the net risk turns out to be nil. To say that a premium for risk is needed uh, is really an elliptical way of saying that the payment of the full face value of interest and principal is not to be expected on the average. So he wrote this in 1938. Uh, gee, you know, he has a short memory because between 1929 and 1932, you could have all the stocks on the stock market and you would still not be <laughs> diversified. You would still not get the pure rate of interest. Uh, Levins, T.H. Uh, uh, Levins in uh, Diversification of Planning and Trust in the States. I don't read Trust in the States usually, but Laurie Klein, the uh, Nobel laureate Laurie Klein, called my attention to uh, Levins. Uh, Levins said, uh, uh, an examination of some 50 books and articles on investment that have appeared during the last quarter of a century show that most of them refer to the, the desirability of diversification. The majority, however, discuss it in general terms and do not clearly indicate why it is desirable. And then Levins proceeds on a, an analysis which assumes that risks are independent, uh, just like, uh, just like uh, uh, Williams did. But in the last, uh, next to last paragraph, I think, uh, he says, the assumption mentioned earlier that each security is acted upon by independent causes is important, although it cannot always be fully met in practice. Diversification among companies in one industry cannot protect against unfavorable factors that may affect the whole industry. Uh, additional diversification among industries is needed for that purpose. Nor can, uh, nor can diversification among industries protect against cyclical factors that may depress all industries at the same time. So Levins uh, understood intuitively that covariance counts, but he just didn't have it in his formal theory. So uh, uh, we saw that uh, the theorists didn't understand uh, correlation and, uh, and the importance of covariance, but uh, Shakespeare did. And he's quoting somebody, uh, you know, the Merchant of Venice, uh, he did. Uh, and the Merchant, of course, was uh, even before Shakespeare. So uh, by 1600, everybody knew that, uh, that covariance counted intuitively. Uh, and so they practiced diversification. Uh, but before 1600, a long time before 1600, portfolio uh, theory was already practiced by rabbits. Now, uh, uh, portfolio theory is concerned with risk and return. Some would prefer uh, refer to this as greed and fear. I prefer to think of it as aspiration and caution. Now, suppose that a healthy male rabbit did not aspire to a carrot. Uh, his uh, gene pool would soon disappear. Uh, suppose that uh, instead he merely sought the carrot without caution, ignoring the possibility of foxes, owls, and eagles. Uh, once again, his gene pool would uh, not very long, very, last very long. 
So uh, uh, rabbits have to un understand, uh, not theoretically, not mathematically, but intuitively, <laughs> that they should uh, <coughs> uh, seek uh, 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 seek uh, high return uh, to their gene pool uh, 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 using a certain uh, using a certain amount of caution. So they should act uh, efficiently in terms of uh, uh, aspiration and caution. But before rabbits, <coughs> uh, <coughs> before the rabbits uh, practice portfolio 